uh, hearing that introduction. And as I just said to my dear colleague, Mr. Della Hunt, um, what an act you gave me to follow. <laughs> Some Irish always do that, don't they? And us somber Scandinavians have to try to take it away. But, you know, it takes all kinds here. And you had a, you had a nice a display of um, a group of us who hang together and uh, are growing in number thanks to you. So Benny McCollum and Jeff Fortenberry, and, and there are many, and I didn't write that letter by myself. Uh, we are beginning to grow in the numbers that you have seen, and thank you all for being here. I get to welcome especially two constituents, Louise and Art Fisher from Carpinteria, um, dear friends over many years, and part of a very powerful movement in my neck of the woods out on the central coast of California for um, Churches for Middle East Peace. So. Um, the fact that you are here, and I remember a few years back when there were fewer of us who came, to, I had to stand in line for quite a while this morning, uh, waiting my turn, and fewer of you. So together, we are growing in numbers, and uh, if there is a, it's not just a coincidence. There is a direct effect that you have in our congressional districts and the kind of response you will get from members. And I hope and pray that you will see that today. But regardless, you've been, many of you, in these trenches for a long time, and I salute you. You agree with me that the faith community speaking out on important issues like peace is essential for that process to go. I, I will echo the words of, of those who spoke before me and want to underscore that, that uh, relationship that goes between the communities, the grassroots, we call them, um, congregations, parishes, confessions. Uh, you are reaching out to each other, uh, which is part of the dialogue that we are seeing happen. And that gives us courage here in Washington, D.C. We tend, we can be very timid on areas where we feel uncomfortable, where, you know, religion, I was, I'm a nurse, so I was brought up, you know, no, it, with, when you're in the, the sick room, when you're in the patient's bedside, you don't talk about politics or religion, right? We're both contentious issues. Well, we have to find a way through that. And the power uh, that I know you've heard from each of us today, I want to underscore. You have a way of speaking that I can't have, and a power with my colleagues that I can't have. Uh, it's you they will listen to and particularly if you are their constituents. But you in the communities uh, the, who take the time and have the courage and are willing to tell the stories that you know personally, because many of you have been to this region or you have the stories that come directly from it and so you can share um, experiences that we don't have. I was so pleased that you sent, uh, that you released a letter. I brought a copy of it because I hope you've all seen it. Uh, to the president from all, I, I've seen us, so you have. Thank you. This is that mission that we are doing together. This coming from you all and from those you represent and those who signed on your behalf is so powerful that he understands that when he speaks in Cairo and when he acts to appoint an envoy and when he does the other things he will do out of his conviction that he, is, he has the backing and the support. And so uh, the letters we sent, the letters you sent, this is what this is the, the, having the effect that it is now. American leadership is going to be necessary, and we've seen and we've felt the absence of it for a time, and we've seen what happens when it's not there on the ground every day. Those of you who've been to the region have seen it personally, and others have been waiting now for this combination of. Of this moment that Bill said that is here today. As you are committed for a better future for Israelis and Palestinians, and you are aware that it is in our own national interest that this happens, um, that that is the message we have to underscore here in Washington, D.C. This is about our national security as well. Uh, and also, the, the linchpin role, as Bill said, that this region plays in world peace in all of the other conflicts we're so very concerned about, the core is there in this small plot of land in establishing the right kind of relationship and the right kind of solution that, uh, that has come close to 
being well underway and then fades back. So it's going to have to be sustained leadership, and that's going to require another visit from you in the future as well. We know the President is pleased to see your support. And as I mentioned, I believe it gave him confidence uh, to uh, speak as he did uh, last week or a few days ago, and to have a kind of envoy, and to make that connection between uh, the process that, that Shan, that's now like a shining star in Northern Ireland, and the fact that we have these examples of where this kind of relationship will have an effect. My first visit to Israel as a member of Congress was as a part of a delegation or organized by my tradition, the Lutheran tradition. I was the guest of two American bishops, uh, and we were hosted uh, by Bishop Muni Yunan of uh, the Lutheran Church of Palestine and the Jordan regions. And it was a delight for me to see it from that perspective and to travel um, the kind of security and acceptance that being with him uh, and his interfaith community, which is so powerful there. They have many lessons to teach us, don't they, in the region. Uh, and that's something I, I, I know you share as well. This is, a, this is something we will be blessed by as we see peace grow and continue in the region. Whenever I am confronted with a policy decision related to this region now, I frame that my decisions in the context of my personal experiences there on that trip. Now for my colleagues who haven't had that privilege, and those of you who have, you can provide that context for them, and you will. And that's the dimension, that's what makes this democracy work, if it does. It's because you can bring those perspectives. Um, you have some of you may have been accompaniers whom I witnessed and saw the power of their ability to uh, give a human uh, context to a very difficult, long struggle that so many are undergoing each and every day in that region. So this is a team. It's a team approach. So it's the way it works. Uh, you're being here to support us and to nudge and push when necessary so that our numbers grow uh, and that we are able to bring the discussion that you have in the communities you uh, represent because there's tension there too. And you're able to work through that. You show us how to do it and you come here and then we build our confidence to do the very same thing and you'll be pleased, I know, with that outcome. There, are, Even though now it seems like we have every, the stars all aligned, we have the leadership in the White House, we have the special envoy, George Mitchell, we have the remarkable speech that was given. We have the drive and the intensity. You and I know this is, a, is still going to be a very tough row to hoe. There are troubles abounding everywhere in the world. And it seems like, uh, as much as here at home, people are questioning the wisdom of a president who will spend his capital as much as he is in this region. And while other things need attention as well. So you help us keep our priorities straight. I just wanted to mention that we are working at this from a number of angles. And later today, I thought it might be of interest to you, I'm part of a group of us in Congress called the Faith Working Group, and we are going to meet this afternoon in the Capitol um, and be um, get visited by uh, the Commission, US, the Chair of the Commission on International Religious Freedom, with stories coming to us today from Pakistan, Afghanistan, and the Sudan from this perspective. Uh, all of this is related. Uh, all of this is, is uh, part of the cloth that you uh, uh, drape yourself in as you come here with, with us to urge us to push forward in the very important areas of peace in the Middle East. Um, we are on the right side of history. And I hope you have the confidence that I share. Uh, and that uh, you know how valued you are and how what an honor it is for me to be on your team. Good luck today. I look forward to meeting my constituents when they come to see me. And may God be with us all. Thank you.